Yeah, it was it was a great weekend. I I mean, all all in all, I think the uh, the three people that really need to be commended the most are our two captains, uh, Jordy Garcia, Carl Vessel. Really great communication. Got the guys really ready to go. Knew exactly what the expectations were. And, uh, and, and they did a great job all the way through the whole weekend. So we, we definitely want to give a bunch of credit to them. They had great results also, did great in singles. Uh, the, the biggest standout that we had for the weekend was definitely Martin Despidoff. Transfer again, he's come in. He's now undefeated on the, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the fall. So he, you know, he just keeps winning singles matches for us. And uh, the, the biggest challenge that we had over the weekend was just the mental challenge of being physically as tired as we were. And, and, and everybody was. I mean, over the last two weeks, we had a lot of the same competition that we had here at the Tyler Invite. We had a little bit of better competition with some top 10 NAIA schools at William Carey. Also, the top guys from Mississippi College were there and all of the team from Jackson State, from the Division I school were there. And so really to be able to battle and fight and commit to our program, what we're doing, how to recover correctly, how to eat correctly, how to get into your matches mentally and physically, and, and then just really compete at a high level. Super impressed with the guys and what they did. So we really built on some good momentum through the weekend and, uh, and did everything we needed to do to really make a statement that we're one of the best teams in the country nationally, especially playing against a Gulf South Conference team. That's probably gonna be one of the top teams in the Gulf South next year. Coach, now looking at the women's side, they do have the ITA Regional this weekend down in Arlington, Texas. They didn't have that, they had that week off last weekend. They have just played that one event, the Tyler Invite. What does the prep look like between that first event and now the ITAs? Obviously, it's a little bit different format. It's a little bit different focused, as we talked about last week. But what is the, what's the prep been like specifically for those women heading into such a big event? Yeah, that's, that's a great question just because uh, process is a little bit different when, and when you start talking about those things. While we were gone, the, one of the most impressive things that they did is they did, a, they did a huge fitness day on Friday on their own. So the team captains got together, Alex Schwartz got together with the team, said, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Our uh, Muskan Gupta, who's an All-American uh, graduate assistant, stayed here, and, and they really pounded out a, a bunch of fitness and a lot of hitting while we were gone. And so that, that's that been a very impressive fact. So we had practice this morning, really focusing on the process, focusing on co point construction, exactly where to go, what to do, you know, what their selection for their shot selection is gonna be um, as we get there. A and then really talking about what nerves look like, what what our commitment to our process looks like, how, what the week's gonna look like. So, so their preparation has been really good while we were gone. Um, they came in um, as a team, as a unit, and really did some recovery on Sunday morning together to really kind of get that, that team camaraderie still building and the things that they needed to do. Great, great practice today. Um, we'll do that again tomorrow on Tuesday and also on Wednesday. We'll kind of have split practice a little bit here and a little bit in Arlington to get them ready to be able to play. Individual events are tough. Um, they've only had the Tyler invite to get ready for it. So, you know, they're going from really playing three times in a day. Now they're going to play four. So two singles matches, two doubles matches that first day. Physically, that's really draining, which in turn makes it mentally really, really tough. So we, we've been really talking about what do our in-between our points look like? What does in-between our matches look like? How do we take care of ourselves? How do we eat? How do we prep? You know, how do we stretch? How do we roll? Like those are the kinds of things we've really been focusing on to make sure that, that the women's team is really ready for the rigors that come with playing in an ITA and especially on the road, playing in an ITA, not being here with all the advantages that we have. So I think they're ready. Uh, very excited this morning um, in practice, wide-eyed, ready to go, really ready to play, all very, very excited about the opportunity that they're going to get this weekend.